Good morning guys. Um, it is morning, it's like 10 o'clock. I did allow myself to get a little bit of a sleep in because I haven't slept basically at all tonight. The kitties have been menaces all night also, so I don't really know what's with them. But they were jumping at things and one of us had pushed, um, I have a plastic box on, in the living room where I I put some jar in that uh, monster kitty has destroyed, and w one of us, either me or Christopher, have pushed pushed it up uh, towards the bookshelf. So my kitty was up stealing um, my amigurumis and playing with them, and they were hitting things down on the floor. And I I don't know what they were doing, but I think I didn't fall asleep until like 2 in the morning or something, so I'm pretty beat, but yeah, that's how it is. Um, but it's around like half past 10 and I'm going to get my needles in just a little while, but first I thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about my r, &R frames. Um, Margaret asked me um, how, um, how they were working and how they were put them off. Uh, I would recommend getting felt to put underneath your um, underneath these clamps because that will make it much much easier to remove them. Not only um, do you have the fabric between the clamps and the stitches so you don't have to worry about clamping down too hard on them but also having these pieces of felt you can actually push them See if I can. I can do this with my one hand. I just push it off with my thumb. It's much easier to remove, and actually quite. It's a little bit easier to add. I can't add them with one hand, but what you do is you put your your felt pieces, and then you put this. I might actually be able to do it one handly, and then you just push it. The longer ones, uh, you have to push at one or two places at the same time. But with the felt, it's actually much, much easier to put them on and off. So I recommend getting some kind of cheap felt. I actually have both real felt and um, f felt that is made of wool and felt, felt that is made of polyester. You can get both of them. And the polyester I bought in one of these kits where, like... 10 different colors or something but I, I would recommend using um, one that matches the fabric or the stitches that you're working on I work a lot on white fabric when I do my cross stitching so I use light fab light colored different um, felt I have pink and beige for the other frame as so I got two frames for the same price of one or something like that yeah but yeah, and while I'm removing the frame, I thought I'd do a little update on where I am with the row of love. I have now finished the greens on the frame part. And I started here with some light grey. So the stitches aren't showing up that much, but these are the light greys. And I'm going to continue on up here um, with those. I'm having a lot of fun. So I took a walk down to the post office and I got my needles. So I thought I'd show you them. It's nothing exciting. Um, this is the needle. I'm gonna see if you can, if I can get it. Oh, to zoom in on it. Hello. It doesn't really want to do that. Um, it is uh, ordinary needles. They have golden heads, and then they just have the ordinary, uh, the ordinary pin. Um, I picked it out because I'm actually going to use it. I have to change out the needle. Um, I have 2,000 needles now. Yeah. Got 1,024 uh, size needles and 1,026 size needles. And I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with the quality of the needles. They are quite awesome. So, um, I've been thinking about putting some up on my Etsy store maybe. Um, the reason why I bought them in bulk is because I personally can get the price down a lot. Um, the DMC needles, 
you get six needles for a pound, a pound and a half, two, two maybe, two, two pounds maybe. Um, these were a lot cheaper, so and they were really good quality. I really, really like them. So, are you interested in buying needles from me, or or should I just stack them in my store? I do, I do go through needles a lot. As as I said, I very even though I wash my hands every time I sit down with my embroidery, I do sit and embroider for hours and hours straight and my needles do get, gr not grimy because it's not, they, they oxidize, that's the word, they oxidize, the metal oxidizes from if this dissolved from the hands or what it is. So I need to chain them and I, as I stitch as much as I do, I usually need to change them almost daily. So this would, this lot would keep me through about six years. Yeah. I'm not gonna need to buy any needles soon. But yeah, awesome, getting needles. She's sleeping. Little cutie's sleeping. I must say that I'm loving my new needles. Um, it is gliding through the fabric like nothing else. A new needle is always wonderful, but these, they, they are very, very nice and the holes are really good and yeah, that was my little kitty wanting to sit in my lap. So, here he is. This Gizmo. Yeah. But yeah, I really like them. Um, I think there will be a lot of cross-stitching done today and uh, uh, not a lot of other things done today because I'm really tired. And right now he just wants some cuddles. And you should, you should see him. I see if I can, can get it. Oh come on, dog! Isn't he cute, my little fatty? No, he's just very, very hairy cat. Yeah, a hairy cat. Ew. It's about an hour later, one and a half hour later. Uh, I've been listening to my audio book. I ended up feeling that that was basically what I have energy for and it's actually it's pretty good it's not wonderful it's not as captivating as the selection when I read the selection I kind of felt that I really just wanted to hear the next episode I wanted to hear the next chapter and when I had to turn it off for the day I was disappointed um, Earthbound I haven't been that way, I haven't been as eager sitting down listening and as I haven't been as eager sitting down listening, other, I, I have done other things than cross stitching. I have been um, playing a little bit with my sewing machine and doing the same as, as you have seen the last couple of days. Uh, but the first book in the Earthbound series was finished. I don't know how many books there are and I don't I only think there are two as audiobooks. Um, but I probably would say Earthbound gets uh, three stars for me because that's basically what I liked about it. It's not the best book I've read. Um, at the same time it's not a bad book but I, I don't know. But I'm gonna listen to the next episode because towards the end it actually got more more fun uh, than it was in the beginning but uh, this is the sort of book that if I had read it, I probably had skimmed it more than actually fully read every sentence. So, yeah. But I am going to uh, listen to the next part and I'm going to continue cross-stitching. I thought I'd do a little update today. Um, I really like that I'm getting the frame done because then I can kind of center the project in the frame and I don't need to switch it up and down that I really like. Um, I'm doing the greyish here. I've done all of the grey up here today and I'm going to continue down and doing that and that is my plan for today. Um, I do want to get in and do some colouring um, later this afternoon but we'll see. Um, I'm having really bad day when it comes to my SLE so um, 
it's a lot of pain and my fingers are burning I have a burning sensation in them not like I'm burning them in a fire or in a water but that like it's heat immensing from them almost to the kind of verge of pain but not 100% there so I don't know it's, it's a very strange feeling very strange feeling but that only tells me that my SLEs I'm having a flare so hopefully my doctor will be able to um, kind of adjust my meds when I meet her on Wednesday so that I can feel better because that that is basically how you do it you adjust the meds uh, back and forth um, when I'm not in a flare I can eat a lot less meds and when I'm in a flare I have to eat more and so as long as I they can adjust it I don't really mind there's there's a reason why this is all happening there must be um, I had the opportunity to meet all of you guys on on YouTube I, I see it that way if I hadn't gotten sick I probably wouldn't have started cross stitching as much as I do and then I wouldn't have met you guys so that means a lot to me um, yeah, I have the opportunity to work with my creative side when my logical side doesn't work and I'm glad that I have both sides, so seeing the positives of everything and now I'm going to continue on with the next book and continue cross stitching, so yeah, life will be better, it will. Well, um, it's about one hour and 45 minutes later I have been listening to the second book in the Earthbound series called Earthquake. I think that's only two books, I haven't really looked it up but it seems to only be two books in the series so far at least. And I must say Earthquake is so much better than Earthbound. Um, Earthbound lays, lays down like a groundwork uh, but somehow I feel it's a it's a little bit hard to get into understanding it takes things a little bit too slow but earthquake the second book have all of the kind of stones builder stones for the story to actually progress much faster so it's more action it's more energy and it's actually really good so so far one hour and 45 minutes in this is so much better and I'm really looking forward to continue listening to this and when I sat down I thought but okay I listen for a little while and then I go and do other things and right now I'm just like I'm st continue cross stitching because I'm gonna listen to this book it's awesome so yeah uh, I just wanted to tell you that I just wanted to tell you that um, it makes me happy to have a good book again I thought I'd share how I sit when I stitch also because today I have little cutie girl here, Leia. She sits beside me and then I have Gizmo here sitting behind me and then I have my cross stitching here in my lap. Nice, huh? Well guys, it is evening and I'm heading to bed but I thought I just do a little quick update. Update number one, I have done a lot of cross stitching and you can't hardly see it because it's all in grey. So you see there all the grey stitches, I have done grey stitches down here and I have the grey stitches up there. I've also done these pink patches because I realised that these pink patches is the same colour as the dark pink in the roses. So that was supposed to be done at the same time. So I, I went in with that, I have a couple of grey left over here that I'm going to do. I've also um, gone to a smaller frame. As I bought them as a kit, I have both the 11 by 11 and the 17 by 17, and I've used them as 11 by 17. Now I have gone down to the 11 by 11, which is a better size when I work on this, especially when you can get it like this and, and you see, you get about half of it in there. So that I have done. Now to the second part of this, I got the question, I've told you that I stitch much faster now than I 
did before and um, just how uh, I don't know I haven't it up on my computer and I'm very bad with names but I asked how do how did I get faster in stitching well first of all I went for quality first when I started when I was younger to stitch I, as I stitched in hand I stitched um, one motion up and down and I saw saw after a project that I have the cross stitches when I do them in, in stripes like I do they kind of get shortened or tighter over where I stitched them so I started stitching up and down which took me longer time to stitch put your needle down and then you push your needle up but it actually makes my stitches much more beautiful so my quality is what I'm concentrated on but the things that makes me a faster stitcher uh, one of the things is I kind of map up in my brain uh, kind of the fastest way to get to places with my stitches so I don't stitch one stitch at a time I don't stitch like just a row instead if I can, I can show you on this um, on the grey here I don't know if I can do like this um, here I stitched this line and then I stitched all the way almost back and then I continued on this line and then I went down there and then I go back and um, that way it's not only um, better for the thread because I keep I get a lot more thread um, a lot more cross stitches out of my thread by doing that but also it makes it a little bit faster because I have like a game plan on how I do it uh, and and then like I how I hold my fabric when I hold it in hand I uh, roll the fabric up so that I didn't have to kind of wrangle with my fabric I just had that little place where I stitched and now with the frames it's same thing I try to uh, center the area that I'm cross stitching in a good place for me to stitch on the frame I have started to doing uh, double handed so that I have my right hand underneath and my left hand on top in the beginning it was very awkward because I'm right handed and my left hand didn't want to co cooperate but uh, I do believe that you can teach your hand to work the way you want you just have to think about things like um, if you write with both your hands if you take a pen and you write with both your hands um, and then you look at the non-dominant hands text and then you take that text and you uh, kind of compare it to when you started writing when you were young and you can see that they're very similar and you have gone from that with your dominant hand you should be able to go from that with your non-dominant hand you just have to practice so I have practiced a lot with the double handed and to get a little bit faster I'm hoping to be able to get a stand uh, next month a lap stand uh, to be able to hold the frame for me and maybe that will make it easier we'll see uh, but yeah that that is kind of the the way I've th thought about trying to get my stitching a little bit faster but I have to go to bed uh, Christopher is glaring at me saying you should sleep now so I'll see you tomorrow good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite bye